Well, hello, folks. Hold on a minute. Let me get in here. As you can tell, I'm in a different room again. Haven't been in this one in a while to do a video, have I? <laughs> uh, we decided to change up where we're going to do some of our videos. And I'm hoping to do a push to get over 2,000 subscribers by the end of this year. It's the latter part of August, almost. Uh, almost September. Boy, this summer went by quick, didn't it? Soon we'll have snow and everything else on the ground here in Fargo. Well, grab yourself a cup of coffee. And we'll have a video here. The other day, I was talking to my better half. You know her by the name of Christine. So do I. <laughs> anyway, uh, we were talking, or should I say I was talking, and she was just, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Anyway, um, well, we went to the Outdoorsman. It's a little, little gun store that we go to. After reading a small paragraph article in my latest American Rifleman magazine about Nagant ammunition, and I'm going, I wonder if the outdoorsman has any. Well, I overlooked it. The shopkeeper told me where it was at. And sure enough, it was there. <clears throat> Darn near $50 a box. I went over to another shelf. I was looking at other ammunition. 38 ammunition, 38 special is in, and it's a more reasonable price than the Nagant. And also, hold on to your hat, folks. I found some 45 Colt ammunition for $26 a box. That's not counting tax or the change, so don't take the full price as gospel because the 26 da 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 and the tax, of course, drives it up. What I'm trying to get to, long story short, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm trying to get my tongue untied here, is should I talk my wife into taking her Nagant revolver, which is in darn good condition, and I have no idea how old this one is, because it's been scrubbed and redone color-wise. This has got a almost like a black paint put on it. But it's still the 7.62 by 30, 38R, which is an expensive round right now. Or should I try to get her to try the 38 Special in the 1873? Colt style. Oh, by the way, should do this for all those uh, YouTube and Facebook people. Yes, that's unloaded. And do you notice I was being careful lowering the hammer? 
Okay, I'll bring the Nagant back up here. Yeah, open hitch loading gate. And show you that it is also unloaded. And no, that is not pointing at me. It's pointing at the wall behind me. My fingers are nowhere near that trigger. So, even if it had a round in it, it wouldn't go boom. It's not nitroglycerin. Which I don't have a permit to even get near. <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice little revolver. And she has shot this quite accurately. I was surprised when she bought it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Because I think that was the very first firearm she bought. And let's see, that gun shop's no longer in business. Long since went the way of the dinosaur. I think the owner passed away. And since then, We've got muzzle loaders and things like that, and I've tried to convince her into getting a 22 revolver because she dearly loves the 22. But on top of that, here in North Dakota, where we're at, we have to go to a target range to do any shooting. So that adds an extra expense. So we have to save up the money, wait till after a payday. Uh, I'm going to have to try to see if I can get on to my, my coffee, buymeacupofcoffee.com. I don't, I think it's slash trace, but don't quote me on that because it's been so long since I've been on it, I don't know if I can get it to upload. Anyway, I thought I'd do this video for you, have a cup of coffee with you, sit down and relax, and we'll talk with you later. You have a good evening, like, share, and subscribe, and hopefully we can get to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year.